All right, this is the uh, extra practice video for uh, division using the chunking method. All right, now, um, <clears throat> as the title implies, you should watch the um, introduction video first before you uh, go on to this. Okay, so you should already know that uh, you begin by looking at the question very carefully. And you see that you've got 38 and it's divided by 3. Okay. So because it's divided by 3, that means that we need to write the 3 times table along here or down the side. It doesn't really matter, but you need to refer to it. Okay, so when we go uh, 3, 3, Okay, so I, I've gone a little bit too far, but that's not a big deal. Okay, so you've got 38. Got 38. And now we look, <coughs> we look over at our times tables here. And we are looking for a number that is as close to 38 as we can get. And the closest one we can get is 36. We can't use 39 because it's bigger than 38, so we can't use 39. We have to use 36. Okay? So, we have 36. Okay. And what did we do to 3 in order to get this 36? We multiplied it by 12. So, 3 times 12 makes 36. We take 38, we subtract 36, leaves us with 2, okay? So that means our answer is going to be 38 divided by 3. Okay, so we've got 82 divided by 5. That means that uh, we have to write our 5 times table. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, written the 5 times table here, and I've stopped at 60, which is uh, 5 times 12. Okay, so next thing we do is we write 82 here, and then we subtract. Now, this is where we work out what we're going to subtract. Well, number is 82. The closest number to 82 is 60 if you stop at 5 times 12. So let's go with that. So we subtract 60 leaves us with an, an answer. But first of all, we have to write in this bracket here, how did we get that 60? So that's 12 times 5. Okay, and circle the 12, just to remind us that's the number we're going to use later. Okay, so 82, subtract 60, leaves us with 22. And now we come back over to our multiples list. What's the closest we can get to 22 on this list without going over? Well, clearly the closest we can get to 22 is 20. We can't use 25 because it's too much. Okay, and we can't use 15 because it's not big enough. So 20 is the closest one we can use. So I'm going to write 20 here and I'm going to subtract it. Okay, 22 subtract 20 is 0, or sorry, is 2, but we have to fill in this part here. So how did I get 20? I multiplied 4 times 5, red circle. Now 22 subtract 20 is 2, okay? And now, over here, I can write my question with the answer. So it's 82 divided by 5 equals, now I take the 12, 
I add it to the 4, it gives me 16. I'm going to write 16 over here. I have this 2 remainder, so I'm going to write that remainder 2 here. Okay. So my final answer is 16, remainder 2. And now I'm going to check my work down here. So I go 16 times 5. 5 sixes are 30. 5 tens are 50. Plus 30 is 80. Plus the remainder of 2 equals 82. So I'm correct. Okay. That's that. And... Okay, so this is 91 divided by 8. So obviously, again, we're going to use the 8 times table. I'm going to write the 8 times table here. So we have uh, 91 divided by 8. So that means that you have to have the uh, 8 times table listed here, which I've already done. And now we just work it out. You have 91. And now you look at uh, 91 here, and then you look down the list of multiples. And you try and find the multiple that is closest to 91, but not more than 91. So we've got 80, that's too small, 88, uh, pretty close, 96 is too big. So we need to use 88 here. Okay, so now I'm going to subtract 88 from this 91. Now, before I do the subtraction, I have to write down how did I get 88. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so I've got 91, subtract 88, that's going to be 3. So now I can answer my question. 91 divided by 8 is going to be 11 for the remainder of 3. So I can write that here. And to check your work, I'll do it here. Okay, so that means we're correct. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. Good luck.